Jesse Palmer, who everybody knows as Sam, has been missing since early Monday morning. His family says they believe he's still alive and they're going to keep looking for him. Jim Piggott is live at the scene where they are searching for him with high-tech equipment in the St. Mary's River. This is near Kingsland, Georgia. So, Jim, is there any new information as night falls? Well, they haven't found him yet at this point, but I can show you what's going on back here. You can see they move these tents up around here. This is where family and friends are waiting for any word from Sam Palmer out here, any word from police, any word from the Department of Natural Resources, which has been out here now three days searching the river out here looking for any clues. You know, I had a chance today to talk to Sam Palmer's mother as they gathered to do a prayer in order to help find her son. It's hard to sit around and wait for information, but for these friends and family members of Sam Palmer, that's all they can do at this point. The Department of Natural Resources brought in a special boat today equipped with sonar to help locate anything suspicious in the river. And Sam Palmer's mother is hopeful that it will work. We were all gathered on the dock. The, the boat's fixing to go out with so, sonar on it. And we were having prayer, asking God to, that he would find my son. And that's what you want everyone to do, is yes, to, pray to pray for pray. your son. Yes. Our hearts are with you, and we're hoping for the best. We talked to the Department of Natural Resources, who's heading up this search, about what the sonar will be able to do. Once it gets on the ground, it'll take a picture, uh, a 360 degree, 360 degree picture of the bottom of the river, and show any and every little uh, nook and cranny that we're looking for. And then with the use of Coast Guard helicopters and divers who have been on the scene, that information could lead them to a body. It, it'll show that. It'll show logs. It is very, it's very clear it, it, what it is. It, it, if it looks like a body, it's going to be a body. If it's a log, it's going to be a log. Others today who fish this part of the river say they know it can be dangerous. I go fishing out here about at least once a week. Uh, anything can happen. Tide's terrible. It's cold, everything. There's, it's different every time you go out, so you never know what's going to happen. You know, one thing I noticed about this community out here just outside of Kingsland is lots of people have been coming by. Lots of people have been stopping, showing support. They all know each other. They all knew Sam. They all have good things to say, and they're just hoping and they're praying for the best situation out of this. Now, crews are going to be out here throughout this evening. Then they plan to resume the search tomorrow morning, and they set up a schedule at least until Sunday. They're going to keep active, and they're going to keep working at this. We're live in Georgia. Jim Pig at Channel 4 the local station.